Okay, good evening everybody. Um I do plan on um I do plan on uploading this video to YouTube, but the main purpose for this vi for me making this video is it's going to be uploaded on my uh, Final Fantasy 14 blog. Um this is I find it easier to just make a video explaining how my team works than for me to have to sit here and go through the arduous task of having a type down a freaking essay, then having to use my paint program to cut and edit images and having to, you know, splice them up and set them up just right and all that. It, I find it a lot easier to just make a video about it, so. But anyway, um, first off, uh, for those that have never played this game before, this is a standard issue match three game. Um, and, uh, it also uses a, it, excuse me. It's a game that uses a mana system. It, there's a Magic the Gathering aspect to this. Whenever um, whenever you match a certain color, you'll get that appropriate color of mana, and then it'll it'll get added to to whichever um which to whichever character needs it, and then you know, I'll I'll use this guy as an example. But he needs upper left corner. He needs a, uh, or he technically he needs six brown mana, and then he once it's full, then he can cast a spell. So, so kind of a quick explanation there, and then um if you get a, if you match a, if you match four, of the same, you'll get an extra turn. And I believe if you match five, you'll get double that mana and then you'll still get an extra turn so there's that um something else i'll explain later but um like for this guy's spell um the goal is to get 11 brown mana so we can do this ability here which explodes 14 brown gems so every brown gem on this board <laughs> gets blown up and the way exploding works in this game destroys a gem and everything around it but you only get half the mana and uh, skulls I forgot to mention is uh, whenever you match three or more skulls the guy at the top deals damage equal to his attack level in this case being 20 and will get dealt to the guy on the top over here and um the, the two numbers here armor and health, or armor and life, um, the damage they get is taken from the armor first, and then the life. So, so but anyway, that that's, that's what the skulls are for. So, again, and skulls, normally, if, um, if you're somehow able to destroy them individually, it would actually deal two points of damage. So, that's where the uh, skulls deal one damage. That's half, half the damage. So, but anyway, th that's how this ability works. It uh, explodes up to 14 brown gems. So if you've got 14 of them around the board, they all go bye bye. They all go. <laughs> so. And now for. And now for Queen Beatrix. And again, she requires 16 mana, but it can be it can be either green or blue. And her ability, her ability, or let me let me back up a bit. The goal is to start with him, start exploding brown gems, until until she eventually has enough mana to cast this ability. It creates nine green and nine brown gems. And then it deals uh, 48 true scatter damage. Scatter damage, it, as it says here, it um, it just deals um, randomly split up between these four targets. And it's um, it's also true scatter damage. This is a uh, true damage that it's dealing. It, yeah, as it says here, it um, it completely ignores the armor, and deals damage directly to their life. So, true damage is king in this game. So, and then there's an independent 40% chance, one, to gain an extra turn. 
and the other to gain half your mana back. Either, either both of these can go up, none of them, or just one of them. So, so again, the goal being, you want to keep exploding brown gems until she has enough mana to create some green and browns. Oh, and the um, the gems created are placed randomly. So there's no order to them. But um, if you can, if the uh, brown gems you create are around a bunch of other brown gems that are already on the board, you're going to have one hell of a chain reaction, and that's going to fill him right back up again to where you can do this again. So. Um, oh, and another thing I need to mention too. She also has a trade here called Royal Honey. It cleanses all allies when matching four or more gems, which it works just like the Asuna, the Asuna skill. In Final Fantasy XIV, it dispels all debuffs. Very valuable ability right here. So, and then go into here. Less so, since there's a fair amount of monsters in this game that are immune to poison. But same thing here, you'll poison a random enemy, a random enemy, whenever you get four or five gem matches. But his thing, create nine green and nine blue gems, and then he also deals uh, true damage to all enemies. But again, these nine green and blue are what she are what she needs needs to cast her spell. So again, these. Uh, created gems are all placed randomly so if you get lucky you'll get this nice big monstrous chain reaction that'll fill her that'll fill her up instantly so this is basically a two-way combo this guy's the starter and then she's for the most part she's the finisher he's the big support guy um this guy down here he's not He's just, he's ultimately, he's just a placeholder character. And, um, I got a feeling this guy here, if you've ever read a book called, uh, Romance of the Three Kingdoms, or if you ever played a game called Dynasty Warriors, he's kind of a, he's a reference to Zhuge Liang, that character, the master strategist. But, yeah, I'm taking a drink here. Oh, and I forgot to mention earlier, but I'm drinking, uh, V8 Energy Peach Mango. But, um, this guy here, his trait, he can, um, he can enchant a random ally whenever you match four or five gems. Enchanted troops, they gain two mana every turn until they cast their spell. But, um, otherwise his main ability, destroy all gems of a chosen color, and as it says here, you're actually, you're destroying them, you're removing them from the board, and you're getting the mana contained therein. So, and with this here, he's he's good as kind of a kind of a spot filler. So if I need say, if I need if I need to fill her mana up, and if there's already a bunch of green gems on the board, and if I don't need to use this guy for whatever reason, then I could just go ahead and cast his ability. And then choose blue, get rid of all these blue gems, and that'll refill her back up instantly. So, that's how that works. The healing, the healing helps, but ultimately, um, there's actually a, there's actually better, better, uh, better uh, allies out there that you can use. So, like I said, this guy is a placeholder. So, but I'll, um, I'll go ahead and do a quick gameplay demonstration of this, just to kind of give you an idea as to how it works. Looks like I got a pretty lousy setup here. So, but again, you want to match browns first, and then blues and greens. No wait, blues and greens, and then um purple, and then yellow. And since looks like I don't have deadly squat to work with, I 
guess it's gonna have to be that. Oh, also, whenever you hear mana surge, that means you get double the mana that you, whatever you would have gotten. And it shows right here. Each color that you match has a percentage chance of it being a mana surge. So. Mana surge. And so her mana spilled and she's about to give me a and she's about to deal me some damage. Looks like I got a real shitty board right now. Smack. Alright, so she's she's filled up and let's see what we got. Nope. There's one and that's it. And she got enchanted too, so she's gonna be gaining two mana every turn until her until she casts her spell. And here we go. That's how it works. Clear the board until... And it looks like I got an extra turn. And I think she got half her mana back. But what I'm going to do instead, since this is going to be a five match here, and it's going to fill her up instantly and give me an extra turn, I'm going to do that instead. And again, I'm, I'm dealing... And again, I'm dealing true damage to all these enemies. That means true damage again, or again, true damage, it ignores armor and goes straight for the life. It's taken directly from their life, not armor. But you get the idea. So let's do it again. But anyway, as you can see here, this is the combo. Okay, but anyway, um, I just wanted to demonstrate how that worked. So, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that, and I appreciate that, and see you all next time. Bye now.